Welcome to the FCICA product webinar series. We are pleased to have Mike Solly, SIM, of Evoke with us today. Mike, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, my name is, uh, as Kim said, my name is Mike Solly. I'm with uh, the Metropolitan Company, which is, uh, I actually work in the Evoke division, which is uh, a part of Metropolitan Company. Metropolitan also has the Campwood division. And uh, we have a pretty extensive line of accessory products. Uh, today, we're going to be talking uh, specifically about a, one of our uh, Pro Series products. And, uh, you know, as you go through the line of uh, Metropolitan Companies, it covers the Kentwood Abode and Evoke Division. So Kentwood Abode are both wood. Uh, Evoke covers LV products, luxury vinyls, and uh, then our Pro Series uh, covers uh, uh, adhesives, underlayments. Uh, and so within the LV division, we have our LVP, LVT, LVP, luxury vinyl. Uh, there's the Pro Series division. And uh, specifically today, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, our AMB 2000, which is our uh, acoustic moisture vapor barrier underlayment product. And uh, so uh, we developed this in-house, and there were a lot of reasons for why we wanted to bring this product to the table. Um, we needed something that would fit into the fast track environment that's out there in the marketplace. Uh, and what we came up with a product that basically is a floating installation, uh, six foot wide for faster coverage, fiberglass core for great stability, all these things that matter in the workplace. So the, uh, the driving reason for the product was in the multifamily uh, high rise environment, which for any of you that work in that environment, you know that, uh, most of these are post tension slab jobs, although a fair number are in the lower rise are going to be wood frame, but they're post tension slab. And what happens on fast track, they tend to be wet, number one. The slabs generally don't dry uh, in the time uh, before the actual flooring installation comes up. So you have to control moisture emission can be very expensive. Um, they also have issues with uh, the lack of acoustic. If uh, a lot of these buildings don't use suspended ceilings below, so there's a heavy need for uh, acoustics. And uh, in the past, it was difficult to find uh, different elements that you could find in one product where you could actually control that moisture, uh, supply a high quality warranted bondable surface, and then also give you the high acoustic value that you needed. Uh, so, you know, these pictures you see here, this is not an uncommon phase to actually start floor covering in a project like that. The lower floors have been wrapped, they got the cladding on, and believe it or not, as they're working up the building, they're going to be starting flooring installation fairly quickly. Now, uh, you're going to be right behind them going up the building, and a lot of times uh, the slabs are enough, definitely not going to be dry enough for your traditional glue-down systems or even a lot of floating systems if you're utilizing a uh, click-together floor as an example, an SPC core perhaps. Uh, they'd have moisture emission limits and alkali limits, and uh, you're going to have to control that even if you're not gluing down the product. So when you have a build in new construction, this is typical six to eight inch post-tension concrete slab, no suspended ceiling. Uh, so the challenges are the control of high moisture vapor emissions. Uh, you have to meet an acoustic requirement that's been specified by the architect. It's got to fit into that fast track construction. Um, and what they're asking us for at the time we developed this product was a one product solution. And we were able to do that. Uh, fast and easy install. Obviously, you don't want something that takes a heavy learning curve to uh, install. You want to be able to something your installers can grab and go with quickly. Requires minimal surface preparation, which means that it just needs to be smooth and flat to within tolerance which is uh, going to be anything past that is much more difficult to get. Got to be cost effective. Got to fit within that budget requirement. The other thing is uh, it's got to require, it's got to deliver a bonding surface. You know, it, this, these pictures are taken off of a new construction job and you would think new construction, new slab, everything should be in pretty pristine shape, but unfortunately that's not rarely ever the case. Uh, this one had issues with the floor flatness, needed to be prepped out. Uh, they had a lot of overspray. This is going to be drywall, paint, primer, uh, just general construction dirt that's been ground into the floor over the preceding months before installation comes along. So, you know, we can get that pretty clean just by, you know, uh, abrading the floor, vacuuming things out. But 
to get all that into a warrantable surface for bondability can be very difficult. So our requirements were that it had to be fast and easy install. Uh, so we developed the product as a floating installation system. Obviously, that is going to be the fastest install there is. If you have to double stick something down, uh, that means you have to meet the requirements of the adhesive. Okay, that means uh, it's got to be flat, smooth, dry, sound. There's a lot of requirements there. Floating installation products generally don't have that same requirement. Just need to be clean, smooth and flat to within the tolerance of the flooring that you're actually going to be applying. So obviously it's gonna be a lot faster turn to go in there and just float this product out there. Had to fit into the fast track construction. You know, uh, what this product does allow you to come in and install the A and B cushion and the flooring in the same day. Generally, if you have a double stick system, you have and many of them, especially if they're using a urethane adhesive or a wet set application, you're gonna to have to stay off them for a certain amount of time before you can actually get back on them and actually start your install. So this would be uh, same day installation. Um, had to have excellent acoustic properties. In this case, you know, we when we do our acoustics, we look for delta numbers. That is the actual difference. This is what your flooring assembly is really adding to that structure. It's not a lab test where they're giving you a raw number saying you achieved 55 or 60 or 70 or whatever it might be. This is your actual increase in value, and it's the most important number in all of acoustics in our estimation. We needed something that could control moisture, and in this case, we and this is uh, this number is actually a little bit outdated. The RH number is actually 100%. Okay, so what that means is moisture vapor control up to 100%, uh, especially in these high-rise buildings. It's going to be really important that you're not going to be held up because you have to watch that moisture level come down can take quite some time um, or, um, you know, generally you just don't have the time or you don't want to spend a massive amount of money on mitigation of that moisture uh, emission. Bonding surface, we just saw in the pictures how difficult it can be to get a floor clean enough to have a warrantable bonding surface. And uh, in our case, we created a product that is compatible with all flooring adhesives. Okay, so it's going to work with all of them. It's got to be affordable. So when we talk about affordable, we get into cost versus benefit. You know, if you look at uh, less expensive cushions, but the cost by the time you've actually installed them in just absolute money and time can be substantially higher. So it's a very, very good cost benefit story for a product like this. Uh, some successes we've had uh, to Lincoln Tower. This is a project in the Seattle market, a uh, quarter of a million square feet originally specified with a rubber product. Um, we went into them and, and uh, presented our AMB 2000 product, and it was a fairly easy sell because, number one, it was less money per square foot, but it also solved a lot of other uh, fast track issues that they had. So the product took off very, very quickly because it just solved a lot of issues right off the bat. Uh, their concerns were, number one, in this case, was acoustics, and we were able to meet that requirement. Moisture control, uh, part of that fast track was another uh, important issue to them because they understand the, the concerns on the job site for keeping a, a schedule. Bonding surface, we talked a little bit about, you know, making sure the surface is a warrantable, bondable surface and how hard that can be sometimes. Fit into that fast track construction. Another product, uh, Tower 12, uh, 180,000 square feet. Here again, uh, same requirements for this type of a structure. Acoustics, moisture control, bonding surface, fast track. Uh, McKenzie Tower, this story is going to keep playing over and over again. And this is typical in an industry where you have this, uh, that need for all these elements. This one happens to be 270,000 square feet. Um, all these elements come into play again. Acoustics, moisture control, bonding service, fast track. Um, another category that we do a lot of this product in is in the hotel industry. Hotel industry is now moving to hard surface goods. Uh, if not the entire unit, a lot of times, uh, at least in the, the uh, main living area. And uh, so what happens there is they're actually removing uh, either carpet and pad or they're taking out carpet tile. And their needs are a little bit different. Uh, so their challenges are going to be acoustic. If you remove any kind of a carpet and pad, of course, you're removing the best acoustic flooring there is. And you have to get some of that back. Uh, nobody wants to be staying in the unit down below one where people are 
stomping around the floor and you can hear everything that's going on. So acoustics was uh, something very, very important to them and we, we fill that role. Uh, bonding surface, these are existing buildings in most cases, they're ret retrofitting. We don't know the condition of the substrate requires, uh, many times it could have adhesive on the floor. It could have been old carpet tile adhesive or something. Um, and even though you can prep that with uh, a certain amount of adhesive removal and then skim coat that floor, you're still concerned about your absolute bonding surface. So we provide that. Uh, another um, offshoot of this, and we didn't expect this coming in, was the comfort under foot factor. When you remove carpet and pad and replace them with a typical hard surface floor, while well, you're going to have a certain amount of firmness. And so one of the benefits we the, the uh, comments coming back was that it feels good to walk on too. So that was kind of an unforeseen uh, plus. Um, easy to repair. And this is one of those things where if, if you do a lot of repairs on LV products and you know you've done a lot of floor prep work, when you go to pull up one of those planks, a lot of times it can be difficult to get them to release cleanly. A lot of times half the adhesive comes up, half stays behind. Some of the floor patch comes off the floor. Now you're in a position where you're trying to clean that all up, make it look good. So when the new plank goes in, uh, you can make it look pretty good right away. But within a short period of time, all that imperfection you couldn't correct starts to come through. So this gives you a uh, ability to remove planks pretty clean and uh, be able to put another plank back in its place. So if it's a full glue down, a two or three millimeter is an example with a LVT adhesive, you can heat and remove. Uh, even up to 150 degrees, you're not going to damage the AMB remove that plank and then you can put a new plank back in. If you're talking about um, like the uh, LLTs, the fiberglass reinforced uh, products, loose lay, uh, and you're using just a mild, let's say carpetile adhesive, very, very easy to pull and replace those. Just a matter of a minute to do two or three planks at a time if you needed to. So re um, it, it's a great bonding surface for adhesive. Easy replacement. Uh, these, the hotels were concerned about the time of replacement. They have turn cycles they do in order to update the look. And um, this gives them an option if they're using that LLT products, the loose lays, with just that light uh, grab adhesive, that they can actually pull out rows of planks and put in new ones, not lose the underlayment. Keep it out of the landfill. This is a big thing for them. Uh, a lot of them have gone to that loose lay floor because they're actually donating that floor. It's what they consider to be reusable. And then they're not throwing the underlayment in the landfill. Worst comes to worst, if they're using a hard glue down system, you can't just cut this into strips and easily remove the membrane and floor all in one. And the benefit there is all the prep that you did originally, you're not losing any of that prep. You're not re-prepping the substrate because you didn't actually bond to it. So there's some longer term benefits to a, a floating system. Um, another category we do extremely well in is multifamily. Uh, we do a lot of this in new construction. Um, these tend to be, especially there's so many new family, uh, multifamily structures going up, very, very large structures. We do extremely well there, but we also work a lot in the replacement market. Um, any of you that have done this market know that the picture you're seeing there of Jibcrete is not uncommon. Okay. It, it's, uh, they can be pretty chopped up, pretty broken up, especially if you're talking the older systems, the old inch and a quarter, inch and a half, uh, early versions in the eighties and nineties. You can see that look right there. Now, as an installer, I did that for a long time. I could go in there and I could actually prep that up, make it look pretty smooth uh, with enough primer and floor patch. But is that really a qualified bondable surface? Even if I was going to double stick down an acoustic cushion, would I put a lot of faith in that bondability? So the great thing about our product is that you can prep that to, it, to get it smooth. And then once you lay the AMB on it, you're not bonded to it. You're not concerned about bondability. So the challenges here are going to be acoustic, obviously. You're removing carpet and pad again, which are excellent acoustics. You need to get some of that back. And uh, so everybody goes through this process of, of, of converting from carpet and pad to hard surface has to ask that acoustic question. And uh, being a wood frame structure, very, very difficult to get high acoustic values no matter what you do. Um, and we achieve the uh, values equal to any other acoustic system on the market. Uh, gives you that bonding surface we were just talking about. Very important. If you want a warranty, bonding surface becomes extremely important. Easy to repair for the same reasons that they like us in the hotel industry. Uh, you can go in there and, and, you know, repairs in multifamily is a common thing. 
you want to lengthen the life cycle of that floor, that means you have to do repairs. I can't tell you how many projects I've been on across the U.S. and Canada where they're actually their number one concern from the property ownership group is being able to make repairs because they have to lengthen the life cycle of that floor. A and B gives you that ability to uh, repair floors better than pretty much any product that we've seen on the market. Easy replacement, same thing as floating. You've spent all that time and money to prep that floor to a high standard. When you replace the floor, you don't want to come back and reprep it again because demolition actually ripped that floor completely apart. You're back where you started from. And, uh, you know, we have uh, challenges in multifamily where sometimes we only get two or three years out of a floor. It's just the nature of the environment that these floors are put into. So you want to be able to get in there and if you can't repair it anymore and you got to replace it, you're going to be able to turn that replacement in a single day. Another avenue is uh, commercial substrates. You know, you walk through any commercial building, you're going to find this uh, myriad assortment of damaged floors. And these are going to be occupied buildings where it's not uncommon now to use a membrane of some type in order to go over top of the existing floor. You know, we can get the floor smooth. We can get them pretty clean. Um, but a lot of times you're prepping over something that you're not going to get a warranty for bondability. So putting a membrane down gives you something solid to bond to. And uh, so we see a lot of uh, growth in that particular market. So their challenges are going to be moisture control. Pretty much every commercial environment is going to be slab on grade, slab below grade. And uh, a lot of these are older buildings that do not have an intact uh, vapor barrier below the slab, perhaps. And there's a lot of moisture coming through. Um, sometimes we're going to remove the existing floor and then use the membrane to control that moisture and give a bonding surface. Other times we're going to go over top of the, the floor that's in place. Just depends on the nature of the product of the uh, project, but very common in this market also. Bonding surface, a uh, big one in, in con commercial is minimizing business disruption. You know, being able to, uh, in the case like say a grocery store, being able to come in at night when they close at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, open up at 6 a.m., being able to do as much work as you can in the evening without the disruption, uh, really important. And so you're always looking for systems that minimize that disruption. And also allow you to open for business the next day. Let's say you're only one third or one quarter done with the job that night. You can still open the next day for work, come back the, the following night and, and go right back to work. So it fits into that category very well. Easy repair, same thing. I mean, you want to be able to get in and make repairs that look good. And then uh, works under most rolling loads. You know, this is an acoustic cushion also. So it's got a certain amount of thickness to it. Um, it's a closed cell product, which means it rebounds really, really well after compression. So in most cases, rolling loads are never going to be an issue. If you had heavy rolling pallet jacks that are electric and powered and you're just pulling thousands and thousands of pounds, it's possible you could have an issue. What it won't do is roll up in front of the wheels. Okay. But if you're talking about uh, wheelchairs and hand trucks and delivery, even pallet jacks that are not powered, uh, generally speaking, we've never seen an issue with that. So it does work well in this environment. Um, commercial substrates, uh, here again, fast track construction, bonding surface, moisture control, comfort underfoot. This is another thing we got from the employees at the grocery stores that we do, that they're up there, they're walking on these stores all day long, of course, and they notice the difference right away. So there's a certain amount of, you could say, anti-fatigue to this. Um, just this is just uh, anecdotal evidence coming from the people that work there, whether it's a corridor and a senior care center or a hospital, something like that. The feedback is that, you know, it feels good to walk on. It's not as hard on the feet. So the great thing about AMB is that it works on multiple environments like uh, engineered wood. Uh, creates that bonding surface, moisture control. Really important with engineered woods. We do this a lot in new construction, uh, basements. You know, moisture is the number one. Um, it's going to cause the most damage to your, floor, to your wood floors is moisture from the substrate. Um, this is the fastest possible way to actually control that moisture from a concrete slab, whether it's in the basement or on grade. Remember, we're talking about moisture vapor, not standing water here, but moisture vapor is the number one issue when it comes to moisture damaging wood floors. Uh, you can roll this out. You can use the moisture control tape that goes between the panels and then spread your adhesive. Now, the alternate here is that you can use three-in-one adhesives, whether they're urethane or modified silanes, 
but those are very, very difficult to use. To guarantee you're getting that full coverage membrane that you have to have, they're very expensive per foot, and you never know if you really got that coverage the way it's supposed to be. This is a guaranteed coverage of two millimeters. You're gonna have guaranteed coverage and you're gonna control that moisture. Um, we're also gonna be able to install cabinets on this. So if you have an engineered wood floor up to half inch thick, um, then you can actually install this floor and, and install your cabinets on top. Now, the couple of caveats, the cabinets can't be, you know, bonded through the material down to the substrate. They have to be bonded to the wall. They have to be, you know, they can't be bonded permanently to the, right through into the substrate. But you can do that. Um, you do have your requirements to, you know, control your, 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 your uh, acclimation, but you can do that. Um, we've got quite a few projects that that was a requirement and it actually works extremely well. You can also use this membrane with your engineered floors to eliminate transitions at doorways. In most cases, you can eliminate the need for transitions uh, through doorways because typically with your floating systems, you could technically call this a floating system. We call it actually a glue down system. And you know the difference there. If you have a glue down system, you can eliminate transitions. If you have a floating, you have to apply transitions. This gives you the floating moisture control aspect and also allows you to eliminate those transitions at doorways. So really important on that wood side. Uh, so your product specifications are gonna be uh, 1.9 millimeters, we call it a two millimeter. The width is gonna be six feet wide, so it covers extremely fast. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, the length is 20 meters, 65 feet uh, roughly. It's a metric dimension product. Roll size is 393.96 square feet. So reasonable size rolls actually compared to some of the other products in the market that are more like 400 square feet, or excuse me, uh, 720 square feet. This is actually a pretty reasonable size. And being that this is less money per square foot than most of those products and the rolls are smaller, you're gonna have less outlay. Uh, it meets all requirements for fire testing, for smoke generation, and for critical radiant flux. And uh, so let's go into the acoustic side a little bit here. Um, we're talking about acoustics and there's a lot of confusion in, this, in the acoustics. We are uh, as good an acoustic product as you're gonna find on the market. There's not a lot of variation in real acoustic numbers, whether you go from two millimeter to five millimeters. On wood frame, you could go to 10 millimeters a lot of times and find little or no difference between a two millimeter product and a five millimeter product. On concrete substrates, you can find a little bit more variation, but generally not a massive amount. It's just kind of the nature of acoustics. We have just reams of acoustic data covering pretty much every type of substrate you can think of. Uh, so we're really good on the specification side, whether it's wood frame with or without embedded acoustic, uh, whether it's concrete, uh, you know, post tension slab with and without suspended ceiling, whether it's uh, precast hollow core, uh, we've got we got test data that covers all of these different categories. So really it's it's hard to say here, you know, buy ours because you're gonna achieve some IIC 70 plus number that is so heavily dependent on the substrate and not on the acoustic itself. If you're looking for real acoustic values, then this is something we do a lot of. We spend a lot of time doing delta numbers, which are the most important numbers. So we would more love to talk to you about that if you have a project and you need real acoustic data. The M for moisture control. So A is for acoustics, M is for moisture control. Um, this has been updated. We now go to 100% RH and pH of 14. Um, and we are compatible with, so the B is for bondable surface and we are compatible with all floor covering adhesives. Uh, latex acrylics, the most common type. This is a non-porous product. So you would follow those uh, instructions for non-porous substrates. Urethane adhesives, obviously, if you're installing a wood floor, you know, urethanes are very important. Uh, also, MS adhesive, modified silanes, which are quickly becoming the dominant adhesive in wood installs. Uh, very, very, uh, uh, creates a great bondable surface for, for MS adhesives. So it's the only full floating membrane in the market that can offer excellent acoustic benefit. It's going to cover um, moisture control up to 100% RH, by the way. I need to update that. It's got a low install price. And we get into cost benefit. We get into your total cost. 
uh, of, of actual of a, an acoustic or an underlayment product, and you'll find that once you go through that study, that it's very very low install price, uh, cost. Fast and easy install. So what do you mean learning curve? It's a very it's a very quick learning curve. It's not going to take much. We've never had a project yet where anybody came back and said, boy, we just can't get the handle on this stuff. It's actually fairly easy to work with. Looks a little flooring adhesives. And, you know, I mean, I think that covers the bulk of, of what AMB can do in that um, it is a great all-in-one product that's very, very affordable. The feedback we've gotten from the street now um, over the last four years, five years now, is that um, it's just a, an easy product to work with and it fills all the roles that you want for a very, very reasonable price. One of the things you run into all the time is people come back and say, Mike, I've got a, an acoustic cushion right here that's offering this incredible acoustic value. Um, on top of that, it's, it's less than half the price of yours. The issue you have with anything that is gonna be double stick and you gotta read the instructions close and they say, yes, you can float it because invariably it's not something you can glue to and float. Now, rubber's a good example of that. If you have a rubber cushion that they say you can float, generally that's only gonna be if you're gonna put a floating system on top of it. If they choose to glue it down, which a lot of wood jobs want to glue, you cannot float your rubber cushion. You're gonna to have to glue that down. And the reason that uh, less expensive rubber, or excuse me, uh, foam cushion at 30 cents or something is not gonna work is that now you have to prep the floor just like any glue down. You have to control moisture, you gotta have a bonding surface. And that's labor, that's expensive. You're actually putting down a floor before you install your floor. So any installer is gonna go, look, if I have to fit that, fold it back, glue it, install it, I have to charge accordingly. So now there's this big difference in costing you have to apply to that column that is your less expensive cushion. So the other thing is if, if it's a double stick, you have that additional layer of adhesive cost that's gotta go down. If you're talking about an acrylic of some type, you could be 12, 13, 14, 15 cents a square foot. If you're talking a urethane or an MS, it goes considerably higher than that. And you have to put that into that tally for what constitutes your true installed cost. And the other one is you have to factor in the time it takes. If if, if it's gonna take you an extra day just to get the floor ready, the, the, the actual acoustic uh, and membrane down, that's time off the job site, okay? You gotta come back and you gotta um, spend more time on that project. So we encourage people to look at the price as very reasonable, but do that cost benefit analysis so you really understand what your real costs are when you look at a cushion that's less expensive. The other thing is watch out for those acoustic numbers that are being quoted. Um, those, if you see high acoustic values for whether it's a wood frame structure or a concrete structure, which is more typical, and they're anywhere in the 70s, man, you really got to look at that close because those numbers are so heavily dependent on the building itself. Your building is the number one contributor of acoustic value. All we can do in the industry is add acoustic value. We can't be the, the bulk of that value. So there's all kinds of ways the industry builds acoustics into a building. It's very expensive and time, consu uh, time consuming, but they do it because it's necessary. So if you have a project that you're looking at and you, you can see a value in a floating system like this, your concerns are the acoustics, boy, feel free to contact us at any time and we can help you uh, in that acoustic side because there is so much uh, that goes into developing that uh, complete acoustic package. And you, you don't wanna be fooled by numbers that um, people are gonna come back later and be disappointed that the building just doesn't meet what the expectations were. Kim, uh, that's what I've got. <laughs> All right. All right, so we've got plenty of time uh, for questions. Any questions at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if anybody's got any questions, you can head right over to the Q&A tab, um, type your question in, hit submit question, and that'll come straight through to us. I kept coming up with questions, so you kept answering them. You're just such a good presenter. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You know, the uh, the product is floor, core, floor score. Um, mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, so it meets all the requirements at, at your specification level. Uh, we have all the green story. We have everything backed up. and uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a HUD product, so it it, it really uh, we we sell millions of square feet of this into that uh, in architect design community. So very well proven, lots and lots and lots, just a tremendous number of case studies. I've got literally dozens of case studies of where it was presented, 
what the alternate product was, why it was specified, where it met that cost versus benefit story. That's uh, so important. And uh, it also meets that that on the job requirement where it's a it's it's a, a contractor friendly. If you've ever been on one of these great big tower jobs, boy, the GCs and everybody, they just love systems that make their life easier because they can move through the job quickly with high quality. And it really fits well into that market. In fact, that's specifically why we uh, that was our criteria for building the product was to, to meet these uh, requirements. So, like I said, this is something that's proprietary to us. Hmm. Um, you mentioned the the easy repair and replacement. Do you ever run into any issues with the durability because of that? Any ever have any like you know plank peeling up or anything like that because because it's so easily to to repair? Um, that's a really good question. Um, you know, it depends on the product, but in most cases, I have a video where I'm actually taking a glue down product. I use a hard set LV adhesive and the planks are down really solid and I'm actually using a heat gun. I'm heating that to 150 degrees because that's the temperature that I can get the plank to start releasing from the adhesive. And it's a little bit of work involved, but it comes up really clean. Mm -hmm. And what you find is that there's, even though you'll see a little bit of expansion to the AMB, once it cools, it goes right back to brand new again. And then there's a process where we can actually apply new adhesive and uh, and then uh, inst let that dry because it's a non-porous substrate and then actually reinstall that new plank and actually comes out extremely well. If it's uh, the loose lay products, the, the 4.5 and the 5 millimeter LLT categories where you're using no adhesive or maybe just a light application of carpetile adhesive, those just pop right up. There's There's no issue with those. There's, they, they, they work, it works fantastic on that horizontal plane where you're trying to keep movement from side to side, but it's that vertical movement. You can lift it easily for really fast repairs. So in that case, there, there's just no damage to the AMB. And of course, you're not pulling up floor pads because you're not bonded to the old floor prep. All right, well, I don't see any questions coming in. Any, any last words? Last reminder. No, I, um, any questions, uh, feel free to send me an email. You can contact me anytime. Call me. You know, I'm quarantined here at my house, so I'm, I'm more than mm -hmm. happy to talk to people. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, send us an email and uh, you can go to contract.evokeflooring.com for more information about our other products and uh, links to our main site and also more AMB information. And, uh, yeah, just let us know if you have any, any questions. We, we'd love to uh, work with you. All right. Awesome. Well, on behalf of FCICA, thank you so much, Mike, for presenting today's webinar uh, sponsored by Evoke Contract. Uh, Sims, if you're online, you may now navigate to the Submit Credit tab in order to complete the feedback survey and receive your credit. Please note that you must be signed into the education platform for this feature to work. So if you have any questions or issues, just let me know. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, everyone.